All right. Papa, what the hell's down here, friend? You called me your friend, and I'm gonna call you mine. It's some bones so far. That's always a good starting sign. Hmm. Memento. The way to the lab is blocked. Is there a way to destroy these rocks? Something tells me I need explosives. Oh, well, that's original. I'm cool with it. Let's see. Down here? Is there going to be more dead bodies? I hope so. I hope so a lot. Oh, what the hell? Did... Is... This seems very familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. <gasps> oh, hi, pigs. I see you're hanging out and partying. That's good. I'm gonna take your lantern. <laughs> this isn't a lantern, I'm sorry. It's, it's not. Calm down. Thank you. Here. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna put you right over there. Fucking conformist. Always go into the ground. I would. I couldn't even take it. I'll just take the freaking lot, and that's actually helpful. <sighs> Whatever. All right. So, what else we have here? You. That is fine. Some books. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be making an explosive. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking, I knew it. Experiments with nitroglycerin. 2nd of July, 1829. Upon further experimentation with chemical mixtures, I have discovered the violent, explosive effects of the compound nitroglycerin. Quite by accident, I combined a mixture of nitric, sass, ni ni nitric acid, why could I not say that word, and glycerol, probably also wrong, and set it somewhere in the cellar, on its own. The compound is relatively safe. However, when jostled or struck with an object, the combination suddenly becomes violent and destructive. I nearly caved in the entire wine cellar figuring that one out. Extreme care must be taken when mixing and handling these chemicals. If mishandled, death and destruction will surely ensue. That's an odd way to say stuff. That's fine. <gasps> What, is it heavy or something? Oh. I believe it got darker. Huh. Maybe it was poisoned and it ruins your eyesight. Yeah. I hate poison. Man. Well, uh, that means I run away. I also don't know how he got there when I was in there a moment ago and there was just pigs. Maybe it's the pig man. Maybe it combined all the pigs into, like, one of those crazy, like, robots. I can see through there. It's one of those crazy robots where it's like, I'm the arm. Oh, cool. Emma's Diary. Why? Why is this down here? 29 March, 1824. Oh, she's a little girl. Today, I am nine years old, so I want to prove that I am a big girl. I wanted to see what was down in the wine cellar. Daddy told me to never go down those stairs, but I wanted to anyway. I don't like it down there. It's dark and it smells funny. I hate all the icky bugs and rats that crawl around. I smell funny smells coming from Daddy's lap door. It, that just sounds bad. But I can't get in because it's locked. I think I hear talking coming from the vents in the floor. Sounds like people are crying down there. I wonder what they are so sad about. Well, probably because your dad beats them. Chemistry pot. Kind of like you needed to be. You for not listening. Going to the wine cellar. He told you, hey, stay the fuck out of there. But you went it anyway. It was for your own protection. Fuck. God. Spoiled brat. This is why your tenth birthday was horrible. Oh, well. That's okay. So, 
More, more wood. I guess I'm okay with wood. Wood didn't do anything wrong. Hi, paper. A note on mixing chemicals. 21st of June, 1829. I have discovered that mixing certain chemicals together yields a wide range of results. For example, mixing purified opium with ethanol producing a healing compound, laudanum. Conversely, mixing two relatively harmless substances together could produce volatile and even explosive mixtures. Care must be taken in these instances, as carelessly mixing compounds could result in serious injury. I must remember to use the chemical mixing container when doing this. In an effort to discourage accidental mixing of potentially explosive chemicals, I have made sure to place such chemicals in opposite wings of the cellar. I mean, I get what they're saying. It's like, you gotta go here to get this stuff. Which is, it's totally understandable. It's just, who the fuck would write this on paper? God. That's fine. That's fine. I understand. It's helpful, and I appreciate it. Alright. Alright, that's fine. You? What do you has it? Which one? This one. Nitric. Nitric! God damn it. Alright. So, I can combine you into this one and into that one. There we go. Nitroglycerin. This is highly unstable compound. Will I explode violently? Good. I need violence in my life. God damn it, I'm just trying to explode things. Don't be a dick. Alright. Was there another door? No, I thought there was. I was apparently lied to again. Alright, nitroglycerin, get in there. I'm gonna take one of these rocks here. I'm gonna hit you with it. Run! I turned from green to red. Interesting. I can approve of this. Alright. I like how the door frame's totally fine. I'm okay with that as well. Alright. What the hell is over here? Interesting. Are people being tortured? Why am I not invited to these things? I refuse to accept this! Where are you? Freaking party! God damn it, I knew it! I hope I can get out. Oh, fuck me. No, I'm good. Alright, this is the prison. Why the hell does my father have a prison again? I don't even know what that is. Why does my father have that too? He's a weird guy. Prisoners! I am the daughter of the man who stole you. Give me respect. Prisoner's Diary I don't know what day it is or the year. I can't even remember how long I've been in this horrible place. I think they put something in the water to make you forget. Everything always seems far from Maybe it's better that I don't remember what they are doing at us down here. Every day I find some new wounds on my body. I also feel... strange. As if they are trying out some new kind of crazy drugs on us. If I ever escape this place, I swear to God, I will seek revenge on them all. Especially Robert, for doing this to me. Alexandra Dantes. That guy's a cool frickin' last name. Wait, if he forgets, then how does he... Well, maybe he doesn't forget everything. Just maybe, like, short-term stuff. Like getting wounds. Yeah. That sounds reasonable, I guess. Hi. Do you want this? I'll, I'll put this right here. You can, like, you know, hug it. You're probably lonely. I mean, you're a prisoner, for fuck's sakes. Who learned how to do magic. Good job on you, buddy. Alright. Should probably use my oils. There. Okay. This place is big. I'm alright with it. Huh. 
Well, that's fine. Hi. I wish to f one. Okay. Just take all these out because I want to them to be gone from there. It ruins their day. Open this, please. Who would install this? You can't even open it fully. Robert, you're a fucking moron with design. You're just like, hey, just put it anywhere. And then it's like, but we can't use it. Don't worry, don't worry, worry about it. <laughs> That's amusing to me. So, you're in here then, huh? I'm a little girl who can lift you? I missed something. I'm missing things. A lot of things. I was abusing a dick. God, that sounds like a woman, all right. Take this, please. Ugh, see, that one doesn't even do it either. God damn. Robert needs to fire the people who install these things. That prisoner is dead. Can't use him anymore. It's not gonna move. Don't think I'd want it to either. Understandable. Understandable. Damn it, these guys are dead. Take this, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. What the? Oh, okay. That's helpful. Good. Before I leave, I must make my mark on society. Be well. All right. Um. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's fine with me, I guess. So this is something a prisoner dug out, I bet. Yeah, this is where he ended up killing himself, and he dug it out with this nail. Or a chipper. That's good. My final words. 1844. I am not sure how long I have been in this horrible place. I am certain it is still 1844. I tried to dig my way out using a chipper I found, but I feared I cannot go any further. I caused yet another cave-in, and this time it has caused a mortal wound. I have not the strength to keep on digging. It is a wonder how I even got this far. God, I don't know what happened. One day I am working for Robert, making keys and helping out in experiments. Then he finds that cursed orb and everything changed. His personality underwent a radical transformation, and soon I did not even recognize the man. I've known for many years. He threw me down here in this damned cell, the very cell we were keeping our specimens for experimentation. He had the whole damn team thrown down here. It didn't take the prisoners long to rip us apart. Luckily, my cellmates were shackled to the wall, allowing me to escape. The attempt is in there somewhere. Whoever finds this note, know that I always... There's a was as well, loyal to Robert. Something happened. It has to do with that orb. At whatever cost, you must destroy that damned orb and end all this before it gets any worse. I just hope he won't interfere with you. I hope this chipper brings you more luck than its former holder. May God be with you. Braxton Archer. He's never held a bow in his life. Kendall. Man, you're weird. Why would you dig two paths? You're trying to escape. You don't have that much time to work with? Dumbass. Oh well. That's fine. You're dead now. Deal with it. Don't be crying all the time. I mean, your name, your last one, was Archer? That's pretty impressive. I'm sure the lady's like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool. You're like Robin Hood. It's like, yeah, I know. Are you impressed? It's like, yeah. And then you would probably get them to touch you. Stop that door. Now you can. You were too quick. You're supposed to let me through you, then you close. This one doesn't even do it anymore. Stop showing off. 
asshole. I think, uh, just keep going. Alright. So I have a chipper. <gasps> Thank you. You were in my way in the first place. Let's just keep moving. Alright. You. Hmm. More dead bodies. This is, this is natural. This goes to show my father was... Why did he give them a, pe a frickin' violin? Usually they're not supposed to have anything because they can turn anything into a shiv and kill each other. Maybe that's what happened here. They killed each other with a violin. Fucking violin battles. That's fine. I mean, that's an interesting way to die, at least. Alright. So, maybe I can chipper you. Laboratory. Chipper. Oh. Can I combine it with a hammer? Yes. Well done. I don't know how I held the chipper up while I was smashing it with a hammer while I was holding the lantern up, and that guy's not coming this way. Fuck you. All right. And door. Oh. That's not good. That's on the negative of the good wheel. Hey, salvation. That's impending doom if he gets through that door, though. What's in here? A lot of death in one pig? No, two pigs. They were killing each other over who gets to eat the pigs. I understand. And, oh, this is so cool. It's like the movie Hook. They put the guy in here with a scorpion. Crazy. I approve of this. And there's fingers on there. That's gross. Alright. Take this oil, though. Thank you very much. And, um... Hmm. Well. You guys have a wonderful evening. Are you gone? Yeah, he's just decided, fuck it. I don't know how to pull open doors. I only know how to shove. Typical dude. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Do it.